Y'all know why we here. Everybody in their mama know why we here. Let's get it. Cause. Yo, what up, what it is, and what it do, this is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another bunga. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. Everybody know why we're here today. We are trying B-Love's Life Hot Sauce. I got all three flavors. Flat, what? I got all three flavors. I got the slapping, the hectic, and I got the danger. Before, it wasn't Popeye's chicken, because, girl, I'm a little excited to be back in the studio all as well. Before we get to... Good old bite. Let's go ahead and get this record. Bite your head. God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared before my body. Thank you for your grace and thank you for your mercy and thank you for your protection, Lord God. Let anybody who watched this video be blessed, Lord God. And the ones who don't think they will be blessed, bless them too, Lord God. Bless the haters. Bless everybody watching. I want to say thank you for what you are about to do in my life, Lord God, because I see the play and I know that you are the way. So I trust you. No nerves, no anxiety. Just whatever you see fit for this video, Lord God, it is in your will. And I just want to say thank you in your name. I pray. Amen. Cause y'all know why we here. I got me a quick little four piece. I'm not gonna talk about how Popeyes did me on this bird, but it's cool. So I guess we're gonna start with the slapping first. So she got three flavors. She got the slapping. For the bit. She got the hectic. For the bit. And she got the danger. For the bit. Cause when we fit the try, all three. We're gonna start with the slapping. I'm assuming the slapping is the lightest one. Baby, I've been waiting all week to do this. Oh, woo. that's damn shit. It's hot sauce, baby. That is, that is truly hot sauce. I like it in my red beans anyway, so I'm just going ahead and, oh, we're going to go ahead and lather it up. We're lathering it. I don't know, not big. Hold on. Which one the less spicy? Huh? Okay. Okay. Cause that's spicy. It's not like, oh, it's good. It's got a bomb flavor. I ain't even kept to you. But that that mug got some heat to it. I like that. I like that. I'm giving y'all my honest review. This is ACB Love. I love you, but I got to do it strictly for the people. That's good. When I think about a hot sauce, some food. I like mine vinegary. I like mine really vinegary. Because I'm stuck on that French red hot. So I like these. I like mine vinegary. Now what I do wish is that they had a little top on there. So you didn't have to just pour it like that. You can just kind of just shake it. Because... And you get like a little booty back and it's not just pouring. I wish, I do wish it was like that so I didn't have to pour it as much. But, overall, overall, that is a pretty good hot sauce. The slapping is busting. It's got like a kick to it. The spicy level probably like a, I was probably go like a four and a half on a spicy level because it do kind of hit you, especially if you're not expecting it. Especially if you're not expecting it, you're like, hold on now, wait a minute. But I like the slapping. Okay, we're going into that hectic. You see, she got the. The ratings of the chili. So this is three out of four with chilies. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Did I get two of the same ones? No? How many does she have? So she got the tingling, slapping, and danger. So I got the slapping, hectic, and danger. Maybe I'm looking at something wrong, but it's all good. So maybe it was a mild one. All right, let's get into this hectic, cuz. Let's get into this hectic. We're gonna put this on a little wing. And Popeyes, for y'all that had just opened, y'all did me like a dog on this dang old chicken, but we ain't gonna talk about it. We're not here for that today. I'm not even gonna do you like that, Popeye. I'm not even gonna do you like that, Popeye. I'm gonna lather mine up, cuz y'all already know. 
I actually like to do Popeyes with two times spicy sauce. So we're going into the hectic. We're doing that. Ugh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I just said I like my hot sauce kind of vinegary. Vinegary. <clears throat> and it's delivering. Oh, wait a minute. It's not like, I'm trying to give y'all really how I feel. It's not like overpowering spicy. You just don't expect it. Like you just don't expect it. But my nose is running. We still on a hectic with a runny nose. Ooh. Oh. Okay, good. Just a little bit of it. Go, y'all pee right here. You, pee? you good? I bet. Okay. Next time, I'm gonna have a little bowl so I can dip. But the hectic is hitting. And I think they were like $11 a piece on her website, beloveslife.com. And if you order, I think it's $30, you get free shipping. Don't correct me on that. I just do know I bought three and I got free shipping. Okay, hectic. The hectic spice, I gotta give it a 5 out of 10. It's a good balanced spicy spit, my It's not overpowering. It's not just you can't handle it. But the spice level is totally there in every one that I have tasted. The flavor, I'm getting a mixed variety of things. I'm getting a little French red hot. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little crystals. I'm getting a little of everything that you would want in a hot sauce. Like I'm, I ain't gonna even cap to you, cause you know you be. It's a thing going around. Like, what's your favorite hot sauce? Ring will be like, my favorite hot sauce is hers is Frank's. Mine used to be Louisiana hot sauce. Girl, I done ran over there to them Frank's now. But it just depends on how you like your hot sauce. These are given. Let me give me a little, little, little bit of, for the bit of. Mm -hmm. I like to eat my red beans and my coats all together. And sometimes I add a little chicken or a little hot sauce. Yeah, I wish next time when I do a video like this with these three hot sauces, I'm going to bring my little bitty bowls so I can dip it. I like I would have a hell of a time if I was dipping it, because I can actually drink it and get it, you know what I'm saying. Okay. The hectic spice level is kicking in a little bit more. I'm going to bump it up or down. And I'm going to give it about a six. <clears throat> Not overbearing spicy. Neither one of them are overbearing spicy, but you feel it. You feel it. If you like a, if you're not into the two times spicy and you want to step down to something more like your flavor, your speed, I would go hectic for sure. Okay. <laughs> Baby, this is the moment we all been waiting for. You hear me? Come off your face, Ash. This is the moment we all been waiting for. That danger. If you know Aunt TV Love, you know that's one of her favorite words in her videos. Danger when something is spicy. I love the branding behind it. But you already know, Zeddy Chuck Chuck always be like, that's hectic. B Love's life be like, that's danger. Like, I love the branding behind it. How it's like a how she put the whole family on. You feel what I'm saying though? No. Gotta do what it is that we gotta do. Let me tell you something. A lot of people might not like you, but you gotta respect it. ATB Love is on her grind. And that's on what, that's on who, that's on per. And I just wanna say thank you for giving little girls like me somewhere to go. Cause if it was not for ATB Love, I wouldn't be doing no mukbangs. But here we are, Popeyes. I'm not fit to, not fit to do this for you. Okay, this is the danger. Oh, I gotta shake it up, excuse me. It look a little thicky now. 
It look a little thick enough for the bidu. But y'all, it's been, I had my neighbor put this in the house last week. I got this like a week and a half ago when I was gone. Well, we fit to do it. Okay, we're going for that danger. And we just gone. Cut what? I ain't no pump, baby. I'm not no pump. Oh, this one a little thicker too. I ain't no pump. I ain't no pump. I can do two times spice. I can do this. Danger! Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Spicy. Spicy for sure. Spicy. But I'm for the people. It's more spicy than flavorful. I wish it had a little bit more flavor. Other than it just being spicy. Because the danger is actually a little thicker. A little thicker than the other ones. You, you can kind of tell from the way you... The thicker they get. And that one's thicker. But I wish it was more flavor than it was just spicy. The spice level is there. But I'm not getting that, that hot sauce flavor that I want with my spice. It tastes like a lot of peppers mixed together. The spice level is rising. It's, it's totally rising. <coughs> My soul is totally rising. <sighs> Give me a minute. <coughs> Give me a minute. Oh. Hit the back of my throat. Did it. Okay. Spice level is there. For sure. Oh, whoa. It went down the wrong pipe. But it is spicy. I'm going to have to get that spice level. <clears throat> a 9 out of 10 for sure. For sure. And I eat a lot of two-time spicy sauce. We all know this. I eat a lot of two-time spicy sauce. And oh. What's in there? What is in there? Ghost peppers. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the ingredients. Okay, baby, spice level for sure. Nine out of ten for sure. Spice level is there. Once again, I just wish it was spicy and flavorful, like enjoyable to taste. It's just hot as hell. Whew. Hot as hell. I don't say. My opinion, my opinion, this is the least flavorful one. You feel me? When I first tasted it, the slapping, it gave hot sauce. Y'all, I'm, I'm recovering. When I first tasted the slapping, it gave hot sauce. Spicy, kick, vinegary, flavorful, bing, bam, bam. Also, with the hectic one, even though the spice level was there on the hectic one, it still gave me that bing, bam, bow, that, that vinegar, that flavor, that boom that I was looking for. But when I got over here to the hectic, I went to the danger, I just got to keep it a buck. The flavor category for me just wasn't there. It's just, it's just hot. It's hot as hell. She produced a hot, at, what? She produced a hot flavor. Just wish it was a little bit more flavorful. My favorite one, Kinda hard to judge them. That's a nine out of ten spice level. I would eat these hot sauces on a regular day, no cap. I will say that. This one was honestly my favorite because it gives you look at the thickness. Oh, each one. I'm about to show you how to the danger. What I was saying, the danger was thicker than the um that is slapping. You see how the slapping? Just I don't know if you can see it. But the slapping just kind of flows. And then that danger just gives you that, that thickness. It's thicker. But the slapping got to be my favorite. And delivered on, 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 a, on a 
what I said, gave it a four with the spice, four and a half with the spice. The vinegar was there, the flavor is there. The slapping is definitely my favorite. My least favorite one is the danger. If you're looking for something just spicy to do a challenge, something just hot as hell, get the danger. But flavor wise, that slapping is my favorite. Out of all, all of the above with all of the hot sauces, I'm going to have to give these hot sauces an 8 out of 10. This is something that I would go in my refrigerator and be like, pass me that smack delicious hot sauce. I would. Go over there and be like, pass me that smack delicious hot sauce. Because to be honest, they good. They are really good. I like the bottling. It's six. It's smooth. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. 8 out of 10 for sure. Probably ATB love. Let's get it, baby. That's just my opinion, cuz, but, oh, and another thing, too, price. You gotta call a spade a spade. I would not pay $11 for some regular hot sauce unless it was a big bottle of what I, you know what I'm saying, what I love. Just to keep it a book. It would have to be a big bottle of what I love. I wouldn't just go to the store and pay $11 for just one bottle of hot sauce. That's just me, though, but... My honest opinion, give it an 8 out of 10. Love the fact that when you buy all three, you do get free shipping. The price is just a little too pricey for me to go back and double back and say, I want some more. But the flavor are there, and if you're looking for spicy, it is there. That is my opinion. And that is opinions from your favorite cuz out. There I go! <laughs> what a meal, cuz I missed it. I'm going to get on to this conversation. I'm going to get on to this conversation because I got something on my heart today. And I was like, man, I'm ready to get back in the studio. I'm ready to get back on my grind. I'm ready to get back to what made me cuz of AB. And I got, I got just a little, little advice for you. And this is to all my people who I know don't mean no harm when they ask people these things. Or they just think they trying to, you know, look out for people when they do ask these things. But stop asking people about things that they are healing from. Stop asking people about things that they are healing from. It's not your business. It has nothing to do with you. I understand that you are concerned with the things that they are going through. But people are healing from things that they can't even talk about because they're going to be judged. And here you are asking them a million questions about how their relationship is going when it's falling apart. How is it going with their mom and their daddy when they barely talk anymore? How is it going with this person? How is it going with your job when they're on their last leg about to get fired or about to quit? Stop asking people. Excuse me about things that they're healing from. You don't know how near and dear something is to somebody's heart that you keep poking and picking at. You don't know what people are going through behind camera. You don't know what people are going through behind closed doors. You don't know what people are going through. So stop asking people and judging people about things that they are healing from because you don't know. You don't know. I said that in a couple videos ago. I'm praying for the people that can't talk because they gonna be judged. I'm praying for the people who can't express how they feel because they don't have a safe place to go and express how they feel. I'm praying for people, but stop getting in people business and stop asking them stuff about things that they are healing from. Because you don't know. You don't know. And I know you think you're entitled to your opinion, which you very well are. But sometimes people don't want to hear that. They don't. They just want to walk on and, and grace. They want to walk on and move on gracefully. Gracefully. But you so damn nosy and so entitled. I'm not talking about you because you're my perfect cousin. You so nosy and so entitled. You don't know what Barbara Ann and Michael would have gone through in their marriage. You don't know. You don't know what people go, got going on in their household. You don't know. And no, I ain't talking about me because I don't give a damn. I don't owe nobody no explanations, no justification. And I don't feel obligated. And I'm going to say that again. I don't owe nobody no explanations. I don't owe nobody no justification. And I do not feel obligated. So I'm not talking about me because I don't give a damn. How many times you ask me, baby? I'm going to keep it moving. Because I'm moving on gracefully about the things that I don't even talk about. Because we all battling something. But here you are. You so damn nosy that you don't even know how to decipher minding your damn business and just supporting people. Hope you have a good day at work. There's so many ways you can word it. Hope you have a good day at work instead of saying, how that ragged ass job you've been complaining about going? Tell me what happened. That baby don't want to talk about that. She'd have been at that job eight hours a day miserable. Stop asking people about stuff that they healing from. It's not your business. It ain't. I get so, I get so tired of people feeling like they're entitled to be in other people's business. Or... 
other people feeling like people are obligated to do what you want them to do. If you don't like it, it's your business. That's right, you know? Tell me, man. I come on this platform to walk in my truth, to spit my truth. I'm not worried about no followers. I'm not worried about no subscribers. I love y'all, uh, but that is not a it's not a goal. I'm not worried about no subscribers. I'm not worried about no followers, cause Jesus only had twelve. That's the least of my worries and my concerns. So me, I'm gonna do what I want to do. <laughs> I don't give a damn who like it or who don't like it. I'm at a place of peace. I'm finally, I'm finally healing from the stuff that I don't talk about, and I'm moving on with grace. I'm not on here bashing nobody. It's not that type of channel. I'm not about to bash nobody. I'm not about to talk about nobody. I'm not about to tell you what happened. I'm not about to say this about Big Baby. I love Big Baby. I'm just saying in general. I'm not about to tell you what, what he got going on. For what? That's his story to tell. You feel me? But I understand that y'all are used to these YouTubers and these people on this platform using their everyday drama and their everyday life to entertain y'all. It's not what's going to go on over here, baby. I mean, I'm protecting everything around me. I ain't no mad day over here, baby. You want to tell some I'm just a real stand up person because I'm not take pride in that. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? I enjoy doing videos, Arena. Some of you might not like it. Guess what? You don't have to watch it, baby. Man, it's hashtag the cannons over there, then hit 55k. They almost said 55k just hit 50k. They're a great channel. They would love to have you. They would love to have you. Mukbangs are so saturated. Hey, I'm gonna turn this channel right here over. I'm about to tell you now. I'm gonna start dropping vlogs. I'm gonna start dropping at least whatever y'all want me to drop on this channel. I'm gonna start dropping it. You know why? Because it makes me happy. Anybody else got to deal with it for me? And that's on what? That's on who? That's on perfect Fit to go. Fit to do it. <sighs> what a lovely day this is about to be. Speaking it to existence that you have the most amazing day of your life. And don't let nobody ruin your day. And if that's your opinion, stick to it. And that's how you feel, run with it. Because ain't nobody got to deal with the consequences but you. So walk in your truth. Walk in your light. And just be genuinely happy. Doesn't matter who don't like it. They got to respect it. You are one of a kind. You are valued. You are loved. You are cherished. And if you're not surrounding yourself around people who feel that way about you, get out of there. Because you deserve better. It's not all you will see me. It's in you. It's in me. It's in you. They can never take away. This is your favorite cousin. I. This is your favorite cousin. I. I know did you. I know did you. I know did you. Don't you do me with this is favorite cousin again. Take up your sister, sister, ladies and gentlemen. Just because it's somebody's opinion don't mean you got to do it either. Just as that's their opinion for what they want for your life. You're not entitled to do that. You're not obligated to do that. You don't owe nobody no justifications. Walk in your truth and be happy and do what's best for you. Because at the end of the day. You know, only person that's got to look yourself in the mirror. Say thank you for your opinion. I truly thank you so much. But I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. You don't owe nobody nothing. Walk in your truth. Love you. Front of bottom heart. Let's go.